So I have an empty Gatorade and I'm gonna throw it in that trash can in one swoop with my camera in one hand and the Gatorade bottle. All right, so I've got wind. I got about 10 knot wind to the right. So, uh-oh. All right, dude, go get that. Yo! Try. No, it wasn't. It's my first try. Yeah. So, not a lot going on today. Big surprise. We don't go anywhere um, anymore, <laughs> it seems like. But we do have exciting adventures in the uh, 300 square feet that is our back lawn. So this is a beanbag chair. It's actually a really cool beanbag chair. Um, I don't think I ever talked about this. So some of you may have remember when we were at PAX Seattle or PAX West, a big video game competition about three years ago. Anyway, they had a big arena for Fortnite and they had these everywhere where people could lay and watch the tournament and they have straps that hook onto the hooks or onto the eyelets so you can create a chair. It can sit outside, it can it can take rain. It's pretty cool. It's a weird canvasy like material. It's pretty slick overall. Um, anyway, the, we've had it in the house. It's called a fat boy. Um, but we've had it in the house for a while because the kids use it to watch TV. It's red, although it may come off as kind of a pinkish purple in the film. It, it is a really nice red. Um, and so we're going to try ref refilling this, which could be tricky because every time we refill a beanbag, it goes all over, but that's what we're going to try. As you could hear in the background, because Nathan's about as quiet as a steer at a rodeo, um, we're going to try to refilling it. Mom's got the big box of stuff. Um, this is, this is, I'm sure everybody has seen what's in a beanbag before because it's literally nowadays styrofoam beans or peas or Pretty much peas. Um, so we're gonna try to funnel these in without the lawn turning into snow. Mom's had a lot of experience with this. <laughs> so every time I fill, it just is a mess. Anyway, I saw this technique on the interwebs and I am going to attempt to try it. We duct tape the bag around this lovely tube. tube. Oh. And then you stick the tube in the bean bag and hopefully it doesn't now, I, I am not expecting anything. Perfectness? Perfection? Perfection? No? Perfection. I am assuming that beans will go all around my yard. We have learned not to do it in the house Yeah, anymore. Yeah, that was a great learning experience when I came home. There was a video, I think, where I came home like five years ago and we had the other bean bag and there was beans throughout the house. It was horrible and I asked what happened and she didn't want to talk about it. That's how that happened. So anyway, I am fully expecting them to be everywhere. Um, however, we're gonna attempt to try this thing. So. All right, well, let's get to it. This will be interesting. See if this works. You can use this at home. This does seem like a better method. I do have to agree. Where'd you see this, Mom? YouTube. YouTube. So we're no. stealing somebody else's idea, but it's what we're doing today, so this is what you get. Yes, duct tape him to the bag. Let's stick him in the bag. And then we can make a Nathan bean bag with a creamy filling. All right. All right. That boy has very thick, very difficult Velcro. Seems pretty difficult, which is good. That's some serious Velcro, man. And then on the inside, that's good. And then there's another zipper. You don't want it to come out in your house. I don't begrudge him that. That's good stuff, man. So it's weatherproof. You can sit on your lawn. And you can't even get it open if you wanted to. <laughs> That's a great beanbag. You only need a little bit of opening, right? 
Oh, there's an insert. Yeah, we can see. So then you put the beans in that bag. Put the beans in this bag. Oh. Also got I didn't know that. Wow, I had no idea. What a great bean bag. That's even better than I hoped. I'm very glad I bought this. Thanks, yeah, Pax. I will this one big enough to put the tube in. Dude. Stick Dude. that in that. All right, hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right. All right, lift it up. Be careful there. <laughs> it's kind of filling. I don't think your pipe is working because it's too high. And he's like, you've lost a lot of, that bag is half full when, from when you started. This is quite, quite elaborate, this whole experiences. Come on, dude. This is your bean bag. Not just mine. You're the only one that really uses it. Come on. That's not helpful. It is fuller than it was. That's for sure. I take the tube out. See the tube. And then Velcro. We want the Velcro line up so it doesn't stick to the carpet or anything. And voila, we have our bean bag. Yay! Yay! Uh, way fuller, probably double the, the fill that it had before, so that worked pretty well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 